I brought Raichu to the most recent Global Challenge event and ended up going 12-3 and on my first day. Raichu was used primarily as a support Pokemon protecting her partners like Urshifu, Tornadus, and Terrifying King Gambit from electric attacks with the Lightning Rod ability. This is VGC Mike, back again with more Regulation F content. This time I'll be featuring my team that I played with during the Global Challenge event. If you'd like a full team breakdown, then make sure to check out the other videos that I made on this team after watching this one. And if you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe. We are currently trying to surpass 500 subscribers. With that out of the way, let's get right into the battles. Our Chaladon is definitely a little scary for this team. Yeah, this team in general is a little rough. Um, My instincts are telling me to go with Urshifu Torn. Raichu and Ogre Pond. If they did not bring Archaladon, I think this definitely is in our favor. Yeah. Okay. So. I think we have to go for the cheese again. And this time, we're going to Terra. This game might be over the right, right now. I don't think there's any coming back from a bad call here like this. That's weird. Oh, he's got the, the <laughs> he's got the herb, I think. Oh no, this is, this actually makes it even worse for them. Yeah, right, you okay? Now we're boosted. Close combat brings them down. Oh, they have sturdy. Okay. Yeah, now we just Thunderbolt and Aqua Jet for sure. They're still recovering from that turn. It's not over at all, honestly, but, <laughs> but that a turn one like that is pretty rough. Okay, that's why we used Aqua Jet with Urshifu instead of using like Fake Out. Okay, I feel so much better without that thing on the field. Okay, we drop down to 20 HP. Wow. Raichu's going nuts. Okay, their speed was heightened. Okay, I really just want to make sure I don't throw the game here. Um, I think we target down Tornadus. And just get some guaranteed damage into the Flutterman. It's gonna be a lot of damage too. Set up Brain Dance. I don't know why they just set up Brain Dance. Maybe they have Urshfu in the back. If they go for like Dazzling here though, it's not gonna do a lot. Yeah. Assault Fest Raichu.
Yeah, the only thing we really have to worry about now is a really funky Terra on Urshifu. Set up Tailwind. They protect, which they don't. And like Surging Strike at Anaka here would be pretty bad, but this should be fine. Oh wow, they're still fast. We avoid with Tornadoes. Did they target Raichu? They did. Okay. Oh, they still have Tailwind up, right. Okay, I just assumed that ended. Okay. Let's see how fast their um, flutter is. They don't land Icy Wind on uh, this turn. It's going to be probably still pretty bad for them. Okay. So yeah, we should win this. Guaranteed. So actually, if rain ends and we miss a bleak one, they actually have a chance. Rain has two turns, though, so they'll have to get a double protect for that to be an option. But their chances of beating us without um, rain up are also harder. Okay. Um... Yeah, that play I don't really get, unless they just didn't have Detect. Maybe they're Assault Vest. Alright. Alright, Archaladon is actually a Pokemon that is on my radar for potential problems for this team. Hopefully Raichu can get us through a lot of the issues. We can catch him off guard and switch in at a, at a good time. Then yeah, I'm thinking about Ogre Pond just going all in on the rain dance situation that they're probably going to set up. They do definitely have the tools to beat the team, though. Okay. So I'm going to go for the cheese right away. Hopefully they're going to go Rain Dance, and then they go with the attack that increases uh, their special attack, the electric one. Raichu will absorb it, and then we get a close combat off. They go like, Breaking Swipe, and uh, okay. Step one has been achieved. Oh, this is Stalwart though, that would be crazy. I think one of his ability. Okay, so we had stamina. That's ideal. Okay. We've navigated through storm. All right. I 
I would detect, but I just don't know if they're Covert Cloak. Let's switch Tornadus in while it's relatively safe. I'd be surprised if Archeladon outsped Raichu and her Tailwind, so I'm not super worried about that. Okay, let's see if I'm right. They did, wow. Okay, that's unfortunate. But Raichu lived it because we're a salt vest. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I kind of wanted to go Terra Fairy. Okay. Booster speed. Um... This seems pretty good. Yeah, we really don't need Tailwind yet. Could have saved it for Ogre Pond or Urshifu. But I think we're just going to start... Um, we're just going to lock into Aqua Jet. If we, well, not lock in, but we'll use Aqua Jet. Terra Steel just seems good here. Yeah, as you can see that we can take a whole nother set of those. Um, so I'm just going to detect the Urshifu puts on so much pressure that I feel like they have to try to go after him, which will give me room to guarantee things aren't going to, uh, that they're going to be in Aqua Jet range. Yep, and this should take less damage this time because it's not a uh, single target anymore. We need our Citrus Berry. Yeah, Tornadus is just a beast here. Okay. wonder who their last one is. Um, we had to Aqua Jet here because there's no way we live, um, an attack from Flutter Man, but we could potentially live an attack from Leak Wind. Oh, we don't. It must be a pretty offensive tornado, so I would guess then. But it's still a 2v1. They have Incineroar, I think it's locked up. Rillaboom. Um, he's also pretty good, I guess, because we have Bleak Wind, but they still have Terra, so. Okay, it's Urshifu. So yeah, that looks favorable for us. Let's Horn Leech. And, um, Tailwind, just in case they're Choice Scarf. Alright, let's see. Let's see if they have a defensive Terra. Nope. Okay. Yeah, if they were, like, Dragon, I guess, that would have been a, um, definitely they would have had shots still. Ooh, got him real close. Okay. <laughs> wow. So yeah, that's probably Scarf. Um, Horn Leech again. Ooh. 
Blake on Storm. Raichu is pretty crazy though for taking that Draco Meteor. And the Draco Meteor was at plus one. But that's the um that's the assault vest. Putting it work there. And it definitely was the right call not using Terra Ferrix, Terra Steel, Tornadus. Um he absolutely demolished this game. Alright, this is a very balanced team. I'm gonna lean into the gouging fire King Gambit setup with Raichu. And Tornadus is good for sure because he can hit two Pokemon for super effective and help us with Tailwind support. I'd say Urchfu has too many things to deal with, but Ogre Pond's also a good offensive choice here. I think we'll do Ogre Pond because we're already bringing Raichu. And even though we can hit things for super effective with Bleak Windstorm, I think we just need some more offense in case we lose somebody. Like Ogre Pond, or not Ogre Pond, King Gambit. Losing a King Gambit earlier on would be pretty devastating if we only had Tornadus and Raichu in the back. Okay, so we're going to get a Defiant boost right away. I'm going to Howl and Protect. Get our Gouging Fire back to normal. They're either going to fake out our Parting Shot. So we'll see which one they go for here. Uh, parting Shot, right? Unless they Flare Blitz into King Gambit because they're worried about it. Alright, D is Zilling Gleam. That's pretty good damage. I'm gonna assume. Oh, okay. Sweet. Um. I'm gonna howl. Terra flying. Terra. No, what am I doing? Uh, Terra flying. Sucker punch. That was the play I wanted to make. <laughs> oh, wow. That was great. No burn. No burn. No burn. Okay. Um, breaking swipe. Plus protect. Nice. Now here is the turn that really matters. OK. 
Okay. We don't even get to heal because we're flying. So they're leftovers. Alright, if we can catch them with this, it's going to be pretty great. Let's go for it. Draco Meteor right in the King Gambit ends this game. Alright. Well, they might do it. They might be, like, convinced that, uh... Thunderclap is guaranteed here, and they don't have to worry about it. They don't Draco Meteor. Oh my god, we got him. Okay, sweet. Oh, they tried... What did they try to do? Wait. Because Bolt? Uh... Unless they tried to do that into a gouging fire. I doubt it, though. Because I thought... Thunderclap would um, still trigger Raichu's ability. So that makes me wonder if they um, tried to um, attack Raging Bolt for some, or Gouging Fire for some reason. Okay, we got the Sucker Punch off. Yeah, I think King Gambit is about to just go nuts here. So the question is, who would you use Fake Out with? I think probably you're going to fake out with Rillaboom because Incineroar can actually deal more damage. I was wrong. <laughs> That's okay though. I think Gouging Fire just ends this game. Wow, what a hammer. Yeah, there's no reason to do anything unnecessary. Upper hand, and even though it's not very effective, this is still guaranteed damage unless they start using, um, unless they start using, uh, parting shot, which they didn't. That did crazy damage. So King Gambit is finally taken care of here. Okay, there's no more grass either. Um, I mean, honestly, without the grass, I think we just take our KO on Incineroar. Let me see, 90, 135. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just Thunderbolt, even though it's a little weaker, because there's a chance to paralyze. And then Ivy Cudgel onto the Incineroar. Yeah, there's nothing.
Let's switch out, reset our fake out. That could still be helpful. Spiky shield. Yep, chip damage. And seeing as how they have U-turn, um, and they did try to use gl Grassy Glide, that pretty much guarantees they don't have a ground attack. So they can't hurt us here, but just to be safe, we will use Follow Me. And, um, and then we'll guarantee the KO either with this attack or with the Fake Out on the following turn. So hopefully we boost up in our rankings a little bit there, because I think they were in the 1600s. Gouging Fire is really good into Chiampa Dragonite. It's also good into Opposing Gouging Fire. Pretty much good into the whole team. I guess we just bring Tornadus and Urshfu in the back. Uh, well, not Ursh Urshfu. is the lead. Tornadus in the back to counter Rain. Raichu to help with uh, Raging Bolt. Okay. So they're faster than us, but that's actually pretty normal, I would say. I'm going to Terra Fairy, Howl, and Protect with Urshiko. Breaking Swipe could have been good, but let's see, they'll probably Terra Fairy too. Yeah. Extreme speed into Urshfu. Breaking swipe. Okay. That was a good turn for us. We got the how they didn't get anything. I'm going to Breaking Swipe again. Surging Strikes. Yeah, I don't think we'll drop to a... Okay, they don't even attack. Hmm. Alright, this is good. Yep. Dragon Knight's back down to neutral. That only did 
79, so there's pretty much no chance that they will take us out here. And then I think an Aqua Jet should pick up the KO here. Yep. KO, and then we get a solid breaking swipe single target into Dragonite. And there's a chance that that was multi-scale, I'm, I'm going to be honest. We'll see. Yeah, I would say that was multi-scale. Even with that being single target, that's still crazy. Yeah, and I think we just want to get Urshfu out of here because hanging on to Urshfu is just kind of just going to kind of prolong things. So yeah, without crits, they they don't really have shots here, I would think. Say if their last Pokemon's Fluttermane, Heat Crash definitely picks up the KO. Alright, so Heat Crash and Fake Out onto Champau. Alright, the opponent does protect, but I'm fine with that. Um, if this isn't Focus Ash Fluttermane, then we just pick up the KO here. Okay. And then, not that this matters, but we can even stop them from using Sucker Punch here. in case by some crazy turn of events a crit did somehow get through and knock us out and just completely stop that possibility of using the move in the first place yep they don't use it but he crashed just picks up the ko now 